Factor this. Yeah. Take stuff out. Yay, complete the order number. Out. 2x comes out. So here's how we did it. We put a 2x up in front, because both of these are divisible by 2x. And then in parentheses, we put what would be left if we divided both of these by 2x. Okay, so 2x divided by that, or 6x divided by 2x. Okay, and then that's. That would be it. Um, it works because if we multiply this back together, we go back to that. Um, we're not really just factoring on this first part. We're actually solving equations. So do you guys know if this was equal to zero, what x would have to be? Positive three. Because three minus three equals zero. And zero times this is zero. What else? There's another one. Zero. Why zero? Two times zero is zero, and then zero minus three. Yeah. It's negative three, but times zero is. Yeah, if there's an x on the outside, if you plug a zero in there, two times zero is zero. So that'd be zero. Yes, that was another one. All right, let's try Number one. this one. Square minus a square. A square is something, a square number is something that has a square root. So what's the square to this? Where is it? I was just thinking the other day, I haven't heard a hiccup this year. She had two loud ones in English. Does Mr. Smith stop and stare at you? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and then uh, what goes into negative nine? Three and negative three. Three and negative three. It's the Dr. Pepper. I didn't even have one today. Did you have one today? Isn't it? Yeah, it's in the isn't it normally after lunch you do that? All right, so I'm guessing we forgot this. How, what x values would make this equal to zero? Three or negative three? No, because two times three minus three is not zero. Mm -hmm. So, huh. Forgot, huh? Yeah, it did. Okay, we want that to be zero, right? Oh. So it's 3 over 2. Okay, so instead of positive 3 right here, it's positive 3 over 2. Okay, or negative 3 over 2. And in this case, we could write that like this, since they're the same thing. This is three-term factoring. You guys remember how this one works? Uh, might be some more people. It's not. All right. Uh, it's just if there's no number on the front, you say what multiplies into negative four that adds up to negative three. One and negative four. Yeah. So it's x plus one, x minus four. equals negative one over four. Uh, let's see, two x squared, let's do. Okay. 
Okay, if there's a number on the front, we have to say it's a little bit different. What goes into 2x squared? 2. 2 and 1. What goes into negative 6? But you're no longer saying that adds up to 1. You have to do like a outside inside. What goes into negative 6 though? 2 and 3. 2 and negative 3. 1 and negative 6. Or the negative might be on the other side. So let's try 2 and 3. This is not what's. This one's not going to work. But here's how you check it. You do the outside, negative 6, and the inside, plus 2, like you're foiling it. And that should give you the middle term. And this one doesn't. But what happens if we switch the order? So now we got 4x minus 3x is 1x. Did you breakfast or something? Is that the difference? I yogurt. Yogurt, gotcha. Yogurt. Okay, anyway, this one works. Uh, if you get the right number, but it's opposite, like if we had got negative 1x to come out instead of positive 1x, that means we need to switch the minus and the plus around. Okay, that's enough to get going. Not everything, but that'll get us going. So they start off, for some reason, number one is harder than number three. Oh, no, it's not. I didn't see that six over there. All right. Uh, so what am I going to put in front? X and 3X. And what goes into negative 7? One and negative seven. Yep. Um, let's see if that works. So outside is negative seven x, inside is three x, and does that add up to negative four x? Yes. So this is the right one. But we have to still solve it. X is going to equal what? Seven thirds or negative one. Positive seven thirds or negative one. It's uh what do you try and trim? Six, not zero. Unfortunately. So what that means is we're gonna have to bring the six over, but also we're gonna have to foil this back together and then refactor it. So I'm gonna do this very quickly. So we have two x times x, and we have eight x minus three x. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, and then I'm going to subtract the 6 over to the left. So we have 2x squared. Now we're ready to factor. Now that's equal to 0. What goes into 2x squared? What goes into negative 18? 3 and 6, one of them is negative. Let's try. Uh, this is not going to work. Okay, well, I was just thinking in my head this is like 12 minus 3. That doesn't work. Uh, I know this is not going to work because a 2 would come out of this. If that was true, a 2 should have come out of this. Uh, anyway, two it doesn't nine. work. 2, 9. 2 times 2, and then 9. Negative 9. 
Well, the two won't go with this one. Okay, so now we got 4x on the outside and minus 9x on the inside, which adds up to negative 5. Is that what we wanted? No. Nope. The plus and minus need to be switched. Let's see. You know what? On completing the square, the second section, um, I think I'll just maybe let's just do the first. I don't. This is not. This is the least useful method. So let's just do five and six, and then we'll go on to number eleven. Actually, do we not have to do the rest of them? I just said that. Okay, when you're when you're writing Val, um, I guess we did them we did them briefly last year too because usually they're not that useful. There's a couple cases where they're okay. So take good notes here so you can do number six. But you take the second term, you divide it by two, and then you square it. So what's negative 10 divided by 2? Negative 5 squared? 25. So what we're going to do is add 25 both sides. That's why I left it blank right there. You don't have to. If you didn't leave any space, just write it below. It doesn't matter. Okay. The reason that we did that is now the left is going to, it's a perfect square. It factors perfectly. Um, what goes into x squared? x times x. What goes into 25? What multiplies to 25 that adds up to negative 10? Negative 5 over 5. Yeah, and there's kind of a trick, like the number in parentheses right here will always be that number. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Uh, and over here, that adds up to 1,600. If I write it more simply, it looks like that. Is that the final answer? No. X equals is the final answer. Does anybody know maybe what I should do next? We did this a little bit last year. Square root? Yeah. You can get rid of the square by square rooting. But if you do it to one side, you have to do it to the other. There's the branch. So I think so. This is long here. What if you got pulled over? This <laughs> <laughs> bathroom would fit in the 60s really well. More like the 70s, in my opinion. The 60s. The hippie movement was like late 60s, oh. but yeah, into the 70s. Alright, anyways, uh, something is wrong though. Anytime you square root both sides. I <gasps> can't believe somebody remembered it. I, I knew it wasn't. I was about to say, I knew it wasn't. Going to okay, sometimes this is a square root answer, but how I solve this for x? Plus five. Not again. Okay. <coughs> and this simplifies. It would be 40 plus five, which is 45, or negative 40 plus five, which is negative 35. Get pulled over. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't drive that stupid. Have you 
So on 11, um, so what's my A, B, and C on 11? Parentheses, this part's kind of important. It's called the discriminant because uh, it kind of decides what kind of answers we're going to have. So 4 minus 20 is negative 16. What's the square root of negative 16? 4i. 4i. Oh, the one is negative, sorry. So this would actually be 4 plus 20, which would be 24. times 6, so it's going to be 2 squared is 6, and then the bottom is 10. Okay, can we do anything else to that? Uh, <coughs> uh, reduce. Yeah, since every term in the numerator and denominator are divisible by 2, it's like reducing the fraction. Divide the top and bottom by 2. this one. Anybody have any bright ideas? Yeah. You want it equal to zero. So if you subtract the 12t and add the 15 over, now it's equal to zero. And now you got your a, b, and c. So they just switch from positive 12t to negative 12t. Minus 15 plus 15. So it's 3, negative 12, and 15. So negative b is negative negative 12, so it's positive 12, plus or minus square root b squared. By the way, do you guys remember <coughs> you don't want to plug in this in your calculator? You remember why? Because we're squaring all of negative 12, so it would be more like this. It should be, if you don't do that, it'll come out negative, and it should be positive. 144 minus 4 times a times c. It's not getting any better, is it? Over. It's one of those coughs that'll be in your chest for a month. Anyways, uh, let's see, that's 
60 times 3 is 180. 36. Negative 36. So I believe this is negative 36 under the square root. So at least 6i. Okay, because it's an imaginary number, we probably want to split it up into the real and imaginary parts. So it's like 12 over 6 plus or minus 6 i over 6. Can I do anything else? Reduce. Reduce. So it's 2 plus or minus <coughs> i. If you know the first step. <clears throat> Anybody have a guess for the first step? Uh, you multiply by the <clears throat> bottom. Put your slides back on, you hippie. He's <laughs> <laughs> like messing with me. I'm there. It's not like over his big toes gripping the other. <laughs> <laughs> was gripping the <laughs> The slides! No. <laughs> you could probably write with those toes. Special grip. Yeah. So why are you wearing spots if you're gonna infect us all? Slots are coming. He's infected the whole At least we're socks. No. Beats <laughs> oh. Did you guys even say this? We should cross multiply. Oh. I started I said, doing it. I said lies. Lies. I said no. Sam pulled up the bridge's full window with the slides on. The slides, no socks. <laughs> Okay, so we <coughs> did cross multiply distributive property. Now I need to move it all to one side. Since the v squared is positive over here, I'll just move everything to the right. So I'll subtract the 4v and add the 16 to get rid of that over there. So I got v squared minus 10v plus 16. All that, that factor is really easy, but Fortunately, we are in the quadratic formula section. Oh, well, that's equal to zero. All right, anyway, negative b would be negative negative 10, so 10 plus or minus square root of negative 10 squared is 100 minus 4ac over 2a. This one comes out nicely. Inside the parentheses is 36. Square root of 36 is 6. So since these are just normal numbers, we can completely finish it. 10 plus 6 is 16 divided by 2. 10 minus 6 is 4 divided by 2. Something like that, yeah. 
So going through 16, uh, Sebastian, we're actually skipping 7 through 10.